everyone, and welcome back to more Civilization 4 Caveman to Cosmos with me, Idiotic Otmara. This time we will be playing as Hammurabi of the uh, Babylon the Babylonian Empire. Hammurabi is aggressive. We've seen that last time. We have plus ten percent great general military people emergence. We get lots of free people. Uh, it's it's good for military pretty much, but people hate us. Uh, our other thing is organized, which is also good for great general po and great and having more po more military units. Also, you get plus one happiness for the top eighteen cities, which is the complete opposite of fucking cruel, which is amazing. Um, it's not good for culture, but it's great for hammers. And the last thing we get is isolationist, which is a really bad, a really bad thing for trading. Uh, you get negative one trade routes, yeah, and ne negative one mo maximum trade routes. Very rough, but we should be able to counteract that with. <clears throat> just having lots of cities. We are playing... <clears throat> we are playing on a gigantic map. So I'm expecting a fuck ton of cities. And we are keeping... Um, what's it called? On... Size matters. I was going to... I thought about getting rid of it. But... Mm, it's fine. First one. Uh, there is the ocean. I could get caves. There's not a river, but it is fresh water. Oh, actually, before I do anything, we are doing flexible difficulty. And we want the maximum to be nightmare. But the turn increment will be 100 turns. Yes. Now. I can spend a couple of turns moving. That is definitely something I could do. Because I, it's not as important on a slower speed to instantly settle. I'm actually really happy with the start. If I I could settle right here, and I'm perfectly happy with that uh, starting location. I've got floodplains on both sides, and we have um, we would have caves within our, our first vicinity. So I'm okay starting going there. Um, yes. There's more caves. So depending what's over here, I might move. Uh, actually, I'm probably going to move because there would be a river right here. It's not a river here. The river is fairly important. The AI wants me to set up here? Why? Why? Ooh, I like that location. That one here is a much nicer location than anywhere else. Mostly because of bamboo. It's closer to the tundra. But... I'm actually okay with that. I think I'm going to settle right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very short river. I love this river. This is the best river. 
Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yep. Yep. I'm okay with starting a couple of turns late. Uh, this will not be that. It'll be proper. Uh, we will build an alpha male and we'll go straight into that. You will go for checkpoints. And then we'll just move you around. There were caves right here, but there's no um, bamboo. Bamboo is such a such a strong starting resource. Um, and we actually have a, a fair amount of hills. We have one, two, three hills. Yeah, I think we've got a good starting location here. Much better than I was expecting. Uh, go here. And then we'll go down this way with you. Ooh, there's one. And I kind of want to go right here for that. <sighs> yep. That's my, that's the first time I've actually had a really bad uh, thing for that. Hmm. It actually survived one hit, holy shit. It is the downside, it is definitely downside. Um, but I think you kind of have to do it to start with. Um, or else the AI is going to get it. But I am planning to rush scouts because scouts are fucking amazing. So we've got cave dwelling. We're going to go nomad, nom, uh, nomadism scavenging trails. I do really like my scouts. And then after that, we're probably going to go gathering. Gathering. I lost one of my three units, that's fine. Oh, oh well. I'm probably gonna use, lose another one now. Possibly. Most likely. Yeah, that's fine. I managed to get a couple of um, goody huts there. One of my bet one of the good ones was the the free tech. That saves me quite a few why did that go down to whatever game? It was it eight. Why does it down to six? I don't know. Um so after alpha male, I know it's straight into alpha female. Organized actually have a really good start as well because hey, 210 gold. Uh, because of that. Uh, plus one specialist hammers. It means that your initial worker has two hammers instead of one, which is nice. Hey! Nice! That's actually okay. I'm I'm okay with the wasted turns there. But I did get a f I got a free tech out of that which will again help me. Uh Think I will cancel the alpha female and I'm going to go for the Petra. It doesn't really matter which one I go for, but I'm going to go for the Petra for Ruda. Because that's really early as well for getting that tech. Oh, 
Oh, ha, 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 yes. Okay. I got a free scout. Good. Good, good, good. Now I kind of want better things. Oh, there's good. Um. Oh. Oh, hi. I want to go straight to that goodie hut. You're already dead. <laughs> Free tech. Nice. That isn't super close. It's closer than I would expect an AI to be, but it's not bad. Ah, uh, let's go this way. I've been getting lucky with these goody huts. Was that? There's two free techs have we've had. No, not two, three free techs, and there's another goody hut. And we get a nurse scout. Okay. Two scouts. Definitely happy with this. High stone thrower. High barbins. High barbins. We do have barbins. Goody hot. Eh, experience could be something better, but I can't complain about it. Um, I want to go for speed, so I kind of need to go for this one. Another goodie hot. I've been getting a lot of these. Holy shit. I got a warrior this time. Um, I'm actually going to have you hunt. Yeah. I'm going to auto hunt with you. I'm actually not going to use you, but you can go do your own thing. And we met another person. That's really close. So let's go this way. I am the worst enemy of them. I'm the worst enemy of everyone, of course I am. Ugh, whatever. More goody huts. Goody huts. Mm. Oh, my god, another one. Jesus, this is really good. And another scout. Uh, I'm actually gonna. Eat. This is doing really, really well. So many free scouts. Another goody hut. Holy crap. I would love like a free um, spearman, but I'm happy with goody huts. A free tech. Why the people came here? What they did. How many turns have I skipped there? So many fucking turns for free. Such a good start. Such a good start. Jesus Christ, how good is this already? Man. That's like... 
even minimum, say, three, 30 turns each, I've had five, four techs. What techs have I had for free? Pretty much everything except, uh, except scavenging. Three, 30, 60, 90, uh, like 140 turns. I've just skipped. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with this. And I've had loads of free um, scouts, which is just as good. Uh, I'll go there. I might put them on uh, auto explore very soon. I'm actually going to get you on auto explore because I don't care about you. I met two of the AI already. That's pretty insane. Um, oops. Oh well. I got to a goodie heart. That's fine. Dead Sea was far found. Provided me with a map, and I get to see a goodie hut. Good. That's the only good thing about getting maps. Yeah, not going that way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, no, you're belining it, yeah. So let's go here. Um, you're going this way. There. It's going to take you a while to get there. Oops. Nope. I'm almost at the point where I can just press E. More free tech. God damn it. Yeah, I'm not good with that. Yep, I'm pressing E on you. Oh, look. I pressed E. I found a thing. I should have made money from that. Yep, 500 gold. God damn. Press E. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same. Once I get this goodie hot, I'm going to press E. More gold. Could be better. But I can't really complain. Press E. Yep. Uh, 37 turns. Now we just need to do nothing for a while. Scavenging soon. I haven't finished a tech. I haven't finished a single tech myself. That's a good feeling. Uh, resource wise, we've actually got stuck.
We've got stone and obsidian. I don't. I. The game's been very kind to me. <laughs> The game is being really kind to me. I can just see it fucking me over later. Do I even need to build? Do I even need to build scouts? Hot fucking damn. Hot fucking damn game. Oh, a scout died. Damn, we actually lost a scout. Fuck. Oh, we... What? I subdued an animal? Holy shit. <laughs> I actually subdued an animal. The game is being really kind to me right now. Why are you being so good to me, game? <laughs> It feels weird. Don't do this game. Ahsoka. Ahsoka. I like you. No borders? No, not yet. All cities start with one. Um with one tile. I am the worst enemy of Ahsoka. Of course I am. Hi, crazy. Asher Padapal. Uh, how old is it? No, I, you can have borders. I've just chosen not to. Like, one of the options is to have cities start with one tile. Instead of the three. Uh, instead of the nine. Another scout died. Okay. Okay. It's called Start With One City. It's in the custom game options. I actually have a whole tutorial on it. On my YouTube. On all the custom game options. And all their, and what they do and stuff. Oh my god, I subdued a war. Oh my I have to go for the Herd of the Kangaroo. Oh, yeah, then. Damn. Yeah, that that's way behind. That's way... Do you just not play it? Because I would uh, update that shit. Things have changed a lot. Like the tech tree, for example. Not this. Like, the tech tree's pretty... The last patch was version 40.1? 2? Coffer will tell you. He's one of the modders. But I don't do versions 40.1. I do SVN. Which is more up to date than the actual patch. I am on SVN one 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 nine.
Uh, okay. Uh, I started the first time I ever played Cave Mandicos was was version thirteen, and I have been playing it ever since for YouTube. I don't think you can see it on my current YouTube channel. Because my old YouTube channel is deleted, which had the version 13 on it. <sighs> You're dead. You actually didn't die. Holy shit. You're actually healing too, holy crap. That's even, even funnier. Don't do that. You might actually die now. Okay, my scouts are doing nothing anymore. I've had a really, really lucky start though. Clubman dead? No wise women, eh, whatever. I'm about to get borders! Yay! Only took me. Eh, uh, no. Hammers. Hammers. Hammers are more important. Do you play it often or do you, or was it just like, um, you've just not really played it for, I don't know, uh, I think so, I think it's at the bottom right or something like that, but again that's something that uh, Toffer can tell you, not me. I, I personally don't know how to find out. You can probably just look at last time you updated it. Uh, last time you edited file or something like that. I think that works as well. On strength. You dead? Okay. Good, good. So what version are you on? Version 33? That's a couple of years behind. Yeah, because it took like two years to go from version 36 to 37 or something like that. There was a version where it like took two years just to take off from one to the other. Uh, and from version 39 to 40 was quite long too. I think. So yeah, you're maybe four or five years behind. Most advanced, oh my god. Sub fanatics, caveman cosmos. Um, there you go. Not a problem. I also have a thing on my YouTube 
uh, if you want to learn how to install via SVN, if you want if you want to keep it up to date all the time, if you aren't too bothered about keeping it up to date all of the time, uh, downloading the latest patch uh, whenever you feel like it is probably better than updating it weekly, monthly, daily, or whatever you want to do. I update fairly regularly. I do. I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, I think I'm the most prominent Caveman Cosmos YouTuber. I'm not the biggest. Um, that's probably Quill. He did a YouTube, uh, but I'm one of the only ones that still does it all the time. I think. Um, I always have one going at all times. Thank you very much, the crazy for your follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoy your time here. And please try not to get too infected by your fellow idiots. Um, yeah, I have a playthrough going at all times. All the time. The other games I currently play are Final Fantasy, mostly. And usually like simulation games as well. Like farming simulations, like My Time at Porsche. Graveyard Keeper, stuff like that. No problem. But there's def there's a couple of tutorials on my channel about how to install the SVN, how to update via the SVN. I think it's a little bit outdated and I need to update it. And then there's a tutorial on how to play this game. Like all all the fucking options being pretty much. Ooh. What am I doing? Actually, you can't do anything right now, can you? No, you can make trails, but that's about it. Um, I don't even know if I want to do that. No, I'll, I'll just keep you just now. Eh, fuck it. If you die, you die. Yeah, I'm not too... Mm. Barbons are in the game. That was a hundred and one... That was a hundred turns. What the fuck? Okay. Finally done the Petra Faruda. Now we can get somewhere. Build the rock gatherer. Uh, yeah. Hey, duck. Hey. Um, no, I think I want to keep doing this. I want to keep getting them to go far and wide. I'm happy that my clubmen are doing a lot of work right now. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a great general fairly soon. In relative terms to 20,000 turns. This is eternity speed. Very rarely will I play on eternity speed because they don't make good let's plays. 
but I thought I'd showcase uh, how slow it is. I do this every so often, every f four or five years, I go on to Eternity Speed. My first playthrough was on Eternity, uh, and I'm doing one again. Pretty much. 20,000 turns. It's pretty slow. It's pretty slow. You are the worst enemy of Dildo. Her name is now Dildo. Dildo of Carthage. It's hard to say. Anybody with scientific. Um, anybody with this trait. Pretty much any of these. So Frederick's pretty decent. Maybe not the best of them. Actually, yeah. Uh, innovative and scientific are both really good put together. Uh, Hatshepsut is fine. Like, Harry is probably one of the, like, the least favourite of all of these. Uh, Lincoln's really good because he grows faster than everybody else. Mansa's just Mansa. Like, you can't really go wrong with Mansa, no matter what. Um, Nebuchadrezzar is good if you want to build wonders. Dom Pedro is good if you want to get a lot of culture. Uh, Salamacina is fine. Organized is pretty good early. And then you've got Solomon who is good if you are planning to play a, um, a religious run. But pretty much any scientific one is a great trait. The best trait. Per like my personal favourite is uh, the scientific trait. So any of these. My personal favourite... I really don't know. Probably... Debbie Dreser. Or maybe Frederick. Oh, scientific is fucking insane. Um, yeah, that's why it's so so strong. And you get this buff from the very start of the game too. And then you've got so like Frederick is also innovative. So not only does he get plus two science per city, he also gets plus one science per city. So he gets a base plus three science per city at the start of the fucking game. And then he also gets plus um, plus one commerce per city, which could uh, which would actually be plus four science per city. He's also getting plus ten percent science. So that could be plus five science at the start of the game. With and considering I'm at only eight science. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's true. But yeah, if you think about it, I'm at 8 science. They'd be double my science, basically. Already. And that's without, like, science buildings and shit. So yeah, they're very strong. Both of them. Anybody who's scientific. And there's pretty much a scientific for everything you need, except a uh, warmonger. 
I guess organized is sort of warmongery. Worst uh, leader is probably a Montezuma. The worst trait in the game is hard. Cruel is pretty bad. Cruel is really bad. <laughs> eh, this is probably one of the worst traits in the game. There's other traits that are bad, but this is probably one of my least favorites. But it's meant to be bad. It's a, uh, it's class as a negative trait. You are the worst enemy of everyone. Have fun with that. Isn't a headhunter? No. Well, headhunter, no. Headhunter is. Um. Givaro. Or the Givaro. It, just his name is Chief Headhunter. I'm actually surprised it's not Yavaro. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder why. Um. I don't know what, actually, what do they have? They are, <laughs> unless they're spiritual. Oh no, they have barbaric. Their negative trait is barbaric. Yeah. But they're not barbarians. They're just barbaric. Yep. Very strong. Very strong this early. After the drift would gather, gather <laughs> after the drift would gatherer. I think I'll build a scout. What? Nowhere do you find him without tools. Without tools, he is nothing. <sighs> Persistent hunting is very tempting. Yeah, it's a big fucking map. It's a big fucking map. Which means lots of things to kill. Uh, they haven't fixed it, but it's a lot better than it was. Uh, version 40, I think it's version 40, has really helped that time. And, and, Civilopedia just fucking opens. It, there's no time anymore. It doesn't take a very long time to open the Civilopedia. And you can thank Toffer for that. A lot has... So Toffer made the PPIO mod. Mod mod. Yeah. But Toffer's done a lot of work into... Um, making things... Work. Faster. But he had a mod mod called PPIO and they have actually put that into the game. Which is really nice. It was kind of needed. Yep. They are very 
like that's I think that's their focus right now is to optimize the game the mod uh, but they're also adding in things like a couple of the icons look much prettier than they used to uh, like this. Look at tobacco. It looks pretty. Uh, they did add, like, beavers look pretty now. Uh, the wheat has changed. They changed a lot of the icons as well to look prettier. The map script I'm using is actually Topper's map script as well. He's done a lot of work for the mod. But then again, the map script I'm the map I'm using is gigantic. But I would usually play on a standard or small size. You have done a lot of work, Toffer, for the game. For the mod. Especially a lot of the optimization. But then there's also a couple of others that have done a lot of optimization work. It's not just Toffer. There's a. The team has gotten pretty big. Yeah. The team has gotten pretty big recently, actually. Recently being, like, the last few years. But yeah, the team's decent. And they keep, there's, like, new people getting added all the time. Not all the time, but there are definitely new people getting added every so often. Yep, that's fine. This is this is part of if I was getting paid more. This would be part of my career is playing this game. But I do enjoy this um, enough to play it every year. Uh, to play it uh, every half year. I think the last time I counted, I had about 18 playthroughs. Maybe up to 20 now. really game my clubman actually died hey I got a kangaroo nice something died a scout died damn Yeah, I don't think I ever make it make it past the uh, Renaissance. Um, yeah, I normally make it to about here. Yeah, I normally make it to about Renaissance era, and then I kind of just give up because the game's usually decided by here. 
almost on every speed. And I play with the Mercy Rule on as well, which makes it faster. Another tech. How many techs is that now? I think that's seven. I think I've had seven free techs. Fucking hell, game. You have been really kind to me. Also, I only work 12 hours a week. So, I do have the time to do stuff like this. Um... Yeah, I think these are okay to build now. Yeah, one. Well, yeah. I do always. Ha I do have more recent ones, so they'd be better to watch, to, like, understand what's happening. I actually don't even say what version I'm playing. I say what SVN I'm playing. I'm almost to the point where I can build fucking chasers. I don't even know if I want to. I don't like chasers at all. I barely even like trackers. Kinda want more scouts. Did my other scout die? Uh, yeah. Yeah, he did. Okay. Um, has, have all my scouts died? Yeah. Damn. They did their fucking job. I'm not unhappy with what my scouts have done. They've given me seven free techs. And a lot of boosts to my tech. They've done a great job. And I've met, like, half the AI. Persistence hunting is in one turn. Okay. The secret to a successful hunt is this. Make sure your prey gives up before you do. Let's see, what do I want? Hard hammer? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Um, let's see. Do I want chasers? Not really. I really don't like chasers at all. Really don't like chasers. Do I even want them? Hmm. I think I'm just going to keep building hammers. At least for now. Uh, I'm <sighs> yeah, because I want spite clubmen before I go and actually do do hunting for real. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to do. More tech. Such a good job. Hey, Hast. Hast Eagle. Boop, boop. Boop, beep, beep, boop.
They're not deity level yet. Mm. Okay. They'll be at deity, le deity level in 800 turns. Hey, okay, I want that. Because I actually really want you to. I really want you to uh, subdue animals. Hey, I made a path. Woo. Ooh, woo. Only took you a hundred turns. Ooh, woo. Burn your crater. Let's do that first, I think. Yeah. I definitely want more spike. I, I want to get a spike clubman out there. I do have club men, don't know. Okay, if I don't have club men, I, there's no point in me even trying to get them out. Uh, you have them though, so that might be worth it. <laughs> My stone spearman is strong as well, so you should be fine for the most part. A lot of just enter. Oh, the Neanderthals. Okay, interesting. Hey, every scout is promoted to. Yeah, nice. That's actually not bad. <laughs> 